does it get any better than this? This week we're at Cape Hillsborough at Smallies Beach Campground. This is our view and let me show you where we're parked. There's the caravan. There is a sign to show where each camp is and national park tags at the front entrance. Booking is all done online. Remember when coming to this campgrounds, there is no turnaround at the other end once you pass the day use area. The sites are hard for caravans to get into and it's best to walk in and check first. The sites are fairly big and there are drop toilets and potable waters at the grounds. The camps are fairly shady there is a picnic table at each camp and access to the beach. Okay, we're off to do the diversity boardwalk. It's about a 1.2 kilometre walk. The first 300 metres is boardwalk and wheelchair accessible and it says it'll take us about an hour. So let's go take a look. The boardwalk was large and flat and flowed through all different kinds of habitat and into a mangrove swamp. Take some Aragard, there were midges. Then it went up a slope and through some drier forest and the remains of Aboriginal mittens. The next morning it rained fairly full on for most of the day. In the afternoon, we hiked up at Andrew Point while it was a little bit cooler. So this afternoon, we're going to do Andrew's Point track. It's a 5.2 kilometre return trip if you take the track and if you take the beach, it's 2.8 kilometre. They're talking that it's very steep, so we'll see how we go. It was mostly steps for the first 300 metres. Halfway up there was a small cave to explore. That was a bit of fun. So I reckon it's 500 metres straight up from the resort pretty much and it's a good leg workout. At the top it was about 100 metres to Twin Beach Lookout. And then the track went over the headlands to the other side about 850 metres to Turtle Lookout and it looked back all the way down over Mackay. I measured the walk, it's about 4.5 kilometres, not 2.8. How cool is that? You have a look at that for a view. Insane. The track then goes back down the side of the cliff through some rainforest or you can turn and follow it back the way you came. Following it takes you down to the beach through a very pretty but rough walk. For us that was, we did watch two teenagers run past us. Today we're going fishing down to a local creek. We'll give you a look when we get there. We were going to go fishing at Belmunda, but when we got there the road was closed. I'm not sure what was going on there. We got out our adventurous soul and we found a boat ramp and set up there. Toadfish seemed to be the order of the day. I left two of my favourite lures hanging in a tree for whoever is game to climb them and get them back wasn't going to be Ed, I asked him, but his climbing tree days are done. The next morning I got up bright and early, like 4am, to go and watch kangaroos on the beach at Kate Hillsborough. I was glad to see I wasn't the only one crazy enough to get up that early. 
just got home in time for it to pluck it down. It is wet. We stayed at Smallies for a week. One of the joys of living off grid is that you still need water and we did manage to collect rainwater for washing up. But drinking waters and showers, you have to cart it. We do have a hose with a filter attached so that keeps it tasting great. Once the rain stopped, we decided we might try fishing and we went down to the jetty at Seaforth. The fishing was insane. The grunter just kept coming. We got three keepers and ran out of bait. Got a pair of pliers this time. The sunset was amazing. Today we're at Ball Bay and we're going looking for whale bones. It's supposed to be in the next bay. We've just got to climb over the headlands and it's a short, easy walk, or so they tell us. It's just luck. It was about a one and a half kilometre walk over the headlands to Shelley's Beach from Ball Bay and it was fairly easy going. The whale washed up in about 2019 and this was all that was left. It was unbelievable how big it was. At Arvo we went back for another fish, filled the bucket and came home. I'd have to say it was the best fishing I'd ever seen. I reckon in the two days we possibly caught 40 grunter and kept seven. Little hacker. So we ended up staying at Smalley's Beach for a week. We totally enjoyed our experience here. It's a great location. We're all packed up now and on our way to the next location. Stay in contact and be happy. See you next time.